Hi there everyone, Mark Coleman here from the Virginia Varsity Sports Network and this is a Varsity 360 Gridiron Report video preview looking at Riverbend High School joined by my good friend from the FLS Varsity team, Justin Rice. Justin, how are you? Good to see you, Mark. And we have in studio the head coach for the Riverbend Bears, Coach Tony DeMarco. Coach, thanks so much for joining us. Thanks for the invite. So, a uh, big season last year, you made the playoffs, that's a big deal. Uh, things look quite good. We'll talk about some of the talent that you've got returning this year. But the schedule, admittedly, looks a little bit more difficult. What were you thinking adding these Northern Virginia teams? Well, I actually get no say-so <laughs> in the schedule. That's all through our AD, and uh, he thinks it's going to make us a little bit better. So uh, he wanted up the schedule this year, and that's what, that's what he did. Clearly stepping up in terms of the, the opposition, the size of the opposition, hopefully will help you in the playoff the points for the playoff determination. So yeah. at least you've got that. Yeah. Some good, good talent coming, though. You, 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 if you're going to take on a schedule like this, gosh, you've got some skill guys remaining. I'm pretty sure you know your quarterback, Jordan DeMarco, back. Orlando, of course, back at running back. Orlando Jones to play running back again. you got to be excited about the skill guys, right? Absolutely. It's, it's one of the best bunch of skill kids we've ever had. Yeah. What do you think some of those guys' strengths are? Surely experience at the quarterback is a good thing for you now. You know, Orlando's been there. Mm -hmm. could, could you talk about that? And just Well, I, I, th I think with the skill we have, we're going to be able to run it or throw it this year. And um, you know, a lot of teams in the past, especially I had, we had to run the ball successfully to be able to throw it. And I think this year um, it can work either way. I think we'll be able to throw it to run it or run it to throw it. And um, that should be a good, a good situation. For I, I think I think we give credit to Nathan for for coining a bear raid <laughs> as a way to call your offense last year. Uh -huh. Something similar to that this year? Do you think something? Um, uh, Pritchett was very very explosive for us last year. Uh, we had a lot of one or two play drives with him. Mm -hmm. um, I can see us being a little bit more grinded out. Uh, we do have some people. CJ's a, a way different player than last year. He's bigger, he's stronger, he's faster. Uh, this year when we went to pit for our seven on seven, uh, he, he just looks so much quicker and faster than he was last year. He took several balls and split safeties, ran for touchdowns, and they couldn't catch him. And um, you know we got another receiver, uh, Tommy Casey, and it's a pretty explosive kid. And, um, the Taiwan, our tight end, is one of the fastest kids on our team. He's a, you know, ran a, f a four, five, two at Pitt, and he's going to be another kid that can stretch the field even from Y. So weapons, not a problem. Lots of weapons. Weapons, not a problem. But the line, although the depth may not be where you want it to be, but you've got some big, big names at least on the line. I mean, you've got Zach Adams, Tyler Thomas, Taiwan Garbutt. Mm -hmm. Good golly, you've got some uh, some big D1 talent there. Yeah, well. Uh, the big thing for us this year is we have to be able to mix the, the, the JV kids from last year in with those three that you mentioned. And uh, we have kids like Trey Wynn and um, uh, Austin Farrell's got to step up big. We moved uh, two of our tight ends, they're very unselfish kids. They moved back to tackle to help us out. Um, uh, Bryce Randall and uh, Matt Absher, they're, they're two experienced kids that played a lot uh, at different positions and they moved on to tackle for us and they'll help give us some depth there. Coach, one of the things that was sort of, uh, I think, hidden a little bit in last year's success, particularly with the Bear Raid offense and the, the high excitement and energy that came about that, it was an awfully talented defensive staff that you had, or team that you had, unit uh, last season. How do you feel this year's uh, unit is going to compare to last year? Uh, I actually think our defense this year could be um, better than what we had last year. Wow. Um, we have a lot of the key, key pieces back. Um, uh, Orlando was one of our best linebackers last year. Uh, we were just trying to keep him fresh offensively. He's in good enough shape this year. He'll go both ways, and um, uh, we're, we, we have we, we have a lot of talent on defense. Yeah, coach. My favorite question to ask coaches at this time of year: what what keeps you up at night right now when you're laying in bed, staring at the ceiling, thinking about your football team? Uh, probably two of the main things is one is the injuries. Um, that's that's every high school team. Heck, anymore that's college and pros. You know, you just don't have a lot of depth. Um, you know, the NFL teams can't keep as many people as they used to keep. Um, you know, colleges they all practice differently anymore, and they, the practice schedules are just so different now at every level than they were five, ten years ago. Mm -hmm. Um, there's more thud and, and, and taps and less going live and things like that. And we, we just got to stay healthy. We have a lot of, tap, a lot of top end talent this year, probably more than I've ever had on one single team. If, if I had to take like the best kids I've ever coached in my 26 years here in Virginia, you know, we probably have maybe five or six best ever on this team right now. But there's also a lot of JV talent that's got to step up and fill in from last year. So, you know, we have to combine that top end talent with other kids and they got to mesh together. Sure. Yeah. 
How about uh, measuring that success? So wins and losses are easy to measure. What will, at the end of the season, what will you use to measure how successful this season was? That's a great question. It's actually a question I pose to our players and our team is how will you define success this year? And I think it's important that, you know, you talk to high school kids and they're like 10 and 0. I'm like, well, that's, that's not real good because as soon as you lose a game, then everything's done. Right. You know what I mean? Um, I think ultimate goal is always to get to the playoffs. Um, I think if you get to the playoffs, anything can happen. It doesn't matter whether you hit the playoffs 10 and 0 or 5 and 5, because once you're in the playoffs, it's it's lose and go home. It's a new season. It's yeah. a new season. Um, so I would like to get to the playoffs. Uh, I heard a, a coach one time, and I wish I remember who it was, where somebody presented him the question with, "How's your team going to be this year?" And he said, "I'll tell you 10 years from now." Yeah. And uh, that's I, I think about that a lot as well. We try to do a lot of character stuff. Matter of fact, tomorrow our varsity team's going to go to Carriage Hills. We're going to do some stuff at Carriage Hills tomorrow, and um, you know we're trying to create good quality players and, and citizens in the future. And you know I think ten years from now maybe I can give you a better answer on that too. Yeah. Could, nice. could you express how important just playing in that eleventh game was for you guys last year? I mean, just to get to that point, and it's such a yeah. kind of a big spot for Riverbend yeah, to get there. It was. Um, it, that's something. Whenever I first got the head coaching job here, that was the goal was to try to turn us into a playoff contender every year, and. Um, you know, I think we emphasized a lot about going to the playoffs last year, and um, you know, this year, you know, we're talking about trying to get back there and get that bad taste out of our mouth, and and maybe win a couple games there. There you go. Yeah. All right. Well, I appreciate the time from Coach Tony DeMarco. Uh, it's always a pleasure chatting with you, Coach. On behalf of uh, Justin Rice and the good folks from B2SN, Mark Coleman. It's been a video preview.